everyone so today we're going to carry on thinking about instructions and in this lesson we're going to be working towards writing our own instructions so by the end of the lesson we are going to have created some a sequence of actions so we need to order some photos to show the sequence the order of the actions we're going to talk about how to do a process in our case our sweet potato teddies in the right order sequentially and we're going to use the right kind of language for instructions when we're talking so before we get started today you might want to remind yourself of these things so what are the six main features of instructions that we learned about on monday then i want you to think about how you made your sweet potato teddy so if it's not quite finished yet that's fine think about what you've done so far and then what you've got left to do but i want you to think about the order that you made it in and using that kind of language first second you can use words as well like next then after have a chat with someone who's there what order did you make your sweet potato in and make sure you're using those adverbs those time adverbs to show the order so pause the video and go and have a chat so hopefully now you've got a really good idea of the order that you made your sweet potato teddy in and we today are going to make sure that we put things in the right order in the correct sequence so we decided on monday's lesson that actually having some pictures would be helpful to show someone what to do that our words are really good but pictures can just make it that little bit easier so we need to make sure we've got some pictures to show someone else how to make a sweet potato teddy and that they're in the right order okay the order is super important because there's no point telling someone to stuff their sweet potato before they've even sewn the sides up we know that that's going to come first and when we actually get around to doing some writing we don't want to do a recount we don't want to do first i did this and then i did that we're going to make it a set of instructions and make it bossy but today we're going to be thinking about pictures so this is your job for today we're going to be thinking about sequencing about ordering so there is no writing in today's english lesson i know that sounds a bit crazy that we normally do some writing but there is no writing today so you don't need a pencil all you need is the page of photographs that are in your home learning pack the photographs are on teams as well that show someone making a soup potato that's all you're going to need today then what you need to do is you're going to need to cut them out and once you've cut them out i want you to put them in the right order to show how you made your soup potato now i took these pictures and when i made my soup potato i glued on the mask and the cape and all those kinds of things if you sewed them on just use that picture in the place where you sewed them on and when we get round to doing some writing another day you can write that you to sew them rather than glue them but that's just how i took my pictures so don't worry if you didn't glue you sewed and said just use that picture to represent that so once you've cut them out and you're happy that they're in the right order you're going to stick them down but it's really important you stick them down how i'm about to show you otherwise you're not going to have room to do some writing in tomorrow's lesson so you need to get a piece of paper and you need to stick them down one side you might need to use more than one sheet of paper or the back but you need to make sure you've got a gap for writing so this is my blank piece of paper i've cut out the pictures and i've ordered them and i think these three pictures are first so i've stuck them down the side the top one is the one i think's first the middle one is what came second and then the third one and then what i would do now is i've used that sheet of paper so i'd get another sheet of paper or go on the back and put four five six like that i need to make sure this bit of the page on each sheet of paper is left blank we'll need that tomorrow so you just need to put the pictures down one side so that is your job for today making sure that you've got those pictures in the right order so you need to cut them out put them in the correct order to show someone else how to make a sweet potato stick them down the side of the piece of paper like i showed you on in the last part of the video you might need more than one sheet of paper and you might want to use the back once you've stuck them down you can send us a picture so remember there's no writing if you get this done really quickly what you could do is with someone at home or in school you could come up with orally verbally using your voice a sentence a command sentence for each picture so for that first one what could you say oh i might put on my first picture 
pin on the template so start thinking about what you might write if you were going to write something down remember we're only talking about it today using that kind of language we're not doing any writing so go and find your pictures and go and put them in order and we'll see you later